Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to set up invisible barriers in Roll20. This will allow you to create barriers on the dynamic lighting layer that will allow your players to see through, but will not allow them to move through. Note that in order for this to work, you do need a Plus or Pro subscription. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. Now the most obvious use for an invisible barrier would be to create windows for your houses and castles and so on. But I want to have some fun with this. What I want to do is create an invisible maze for my players to navigate. So they've just come in, they found this treasure room with this massive treasure chest, and it looks like a clear shot to get from one side of the room to the other. Now, of course, we're going to have monsters, but I also want to set up some invisible barriers here just to make it a little bit more interesting and make it a little bit more challenging for them to get across this room. So, let's see how to set that up. So, what you want to do is go up to the dynamic lighting layer, and on the dynamic lighting layer, we want to switch to the polygon line tool. And in the little dialog that pops up here, you want to select transparent from the dropdown, and I personally like to have my lines extra large, just makes it easier for me to see and select them. And I want to do my transparent barriers in this green color here. So with all those selections made, what I'm going to do is come down to the map, and I'm going to click at where I want the line to start, and then move over and click again to create the line. And once I have the line that I'm happy with, I'm going to right click to complete it. And that changes the line from solid to dashed. And the dashed line means that this barrier will be invisible to the players, but it will block movement. Now, one key thing to remember is that you as the GM can always pull a player through a solid barrier. So in order to test this, you either need to rejoin your game as a player or do what I've done and set up a dummy player account that you can use for testing purposes. Okay, so I'm just going to swing my player's window over onto the screen here, so they're on the same map. The player does not see that line that's on the dynamic lighting layer. Player grabs their token, tries to move forward, and then can't anymore. They hit this wall, they can't move forward anymore. So they can go around, they can find their way through, but they can't move straight through that barrier. So this is working properly. So now that we know that that's working properly, we can just go through and we can create barriers in any other place that we want. And I can make like these sort of tunnel areas that will uh, allow my players to kind of run up between but not run through hearsay and, and so on. And so here you can see now I've put in a bunch more of invisible barriers just to make this a touch more challenging for my players to navigate this room. Now, at this point, your players may start trying to figure out where the invisible walls are. They may cast Detect Magic, or they may just grab dust up off the floor and throw it into the air to see how it's blocked by the invisible barriers. So, let's see now how you can reveal these barriers to your players should they do something like that. So, what you want to do is make sure you've got the Select Move tool chosen on the toolbar here. Click on the line that you want to reveal, press Control c to copy it, and control V to paste it on the dynamic lighting layer again. You're going to notice it's a little bit off center. So what we want to do is align it roughly about where it should be and then right click on it, go to layer and then choose map layer. And that will send the dashed line to the map layer. So now your player sees something like this. Now you can of course select multiple lines simultaneously. Just draw a box around those lines on the dynamic lighting layer and then control C to copy, control V to paste, grab those lines, move them about into the right spot, and then do the same trick, move them to layer, map layer, and now they're visible for your players. So there you have it. That's how you can create invisible barriers in Roll20. And I think this has a lot of fun possibilities beyond just windows and invisible walls. You can do like force fields and force cages and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So if you do use this trick in your games, please drop a note down in the comments and let me know how it went and how your players reacted to it. And in the meantime, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.